All right, you guys, this is Ross. Uh, I thought in today's video, we would look at some fruits that I have had cut open, put them on paper plates, and then put them on a, um, a, a glass plate here. And then I've had these plates in the fridge for a while. And this is typically what I like to do um, with my fruits that really aren't of a great quality. Um, or if I have too many fruits, let's say, like I do here, I just have too many fruits, uh, I can't eat all these at one time, then I've decided to do this, put them in the fridge and preserve them for a little bit longer. And what I've noticed over time of doing this, and I've done this for multiple years now, multiple seasons, is that they're really good when you put them in the fridge. Um, what they end up doing is that they're not going to necessarily continue to ripen. I think some people believe that. Some people think that's the truth. But the reality of it is they're, they're actually drying in the fridge. So when you cut them open like this, the fridge is relatively dry. Assuming your fruits are dry as well, they're not soaking wet when you put them in there. And also, the bricks is of high enough uh, within them they will just continue to dry in the fridge and you will lose some of that moisture uh, and they will produce uh, somewhat of a higher quality fruit. I mean, maybe they do continue to ripen. I, I don't necessarily know exactly what's happening because it seems like it's maybe a little bit more than just them drying a little bit. But I'll tell you, this is a great way to, you know, preserve your fruits. Now, here's the problem what some people do is they won't cut them open like this and they'll just stack them on top of each other, right? Let's say they have them in a bowl and they'll stack them on top of each other. Doing that, you're not gonna have success because when you stack them, it's inevitable that they're gonna mold and they're gonna mold quickly. Yeah, these can mold for sure. It's really key to have that higher bricks within these. But I'm telling you that if you stack them, you're way better, you're way worse off than if you do it like this. So I like to even, it'd be nice if I had like, you know, uh, a fridge, let's say, where I had like multiple, you know, uh, trays that I could stack on top of the, uh, on top of themselves in the fridge or something, or maybe I had multiple shelves within my fridge and then I laid out not just, you know, really plates, but like I had trays of them in there and that way I could have an entire tray or something of these fruits that were continuing to dry or continuing to sort of slightly ripen in the fridge to produce something that is honestly better. So picking it right off the, off the tree, I've learned, you can have a great experience, but so a lot of times when you put them in the colder temperatures or you pick them earlier in the day, they can be a bit tastier. Um, maybe not all the time, I don't want to say that, you know, just a general statement, but I know there's a lot of people out there who would agree with that, that they like their fridge, their, their figs actually refrigerated for a bit. Um, this is just my personal opinion here. I think you take it even further by putting them in the, uh, in the fridge. So this is one option, right? You can put them in the dehydrator. You can put them in the oven for a bit. Uh, you can turn them into jam, put them on the stove. You do all kinds of things. Um, but my personal opinion, this method here of just sticking them in the fridge, I think is great, easy. Uh, you don't even really have to watch them that much. You just want to pay attention to see if any of these are starting to mold or create liquid in the wrong place. You don't want to put the face, the inside down because that'll cause the, the fruits to kind of leak and create moisture. And when you get more moisture, you get the mold. So. You want to put the skin side down and hopefully the skin side doesn't have any problems. And that way the, the pulp is starting to dry. And yeah, you just get a really nice product. And let me just, let me just taste some of these real quick for you guys. Here's a Moro de Caneva we were looking at. It's pretty good. I mean, this one here actually tastes, I've had them sitting in the sunroom for about an hour, and this one tastes fresh without any loss of quality, actually. Um, let's try another one here. What is this? Not entirely sure. Let's try it. 
Mm, that's good. I don't know what that is. But I'll tell you, um, they, they're just very good at this stage. And uh, the other thing is you're, you're dealing with fruit flies and you have to pick them a little bit early. Or maybe you have some of them that slightly split. You bring them in here, take the split ones, put them in the dehydrator or put them in the oven and, and cook them or cook them down. Take the ones that you picked a little bit early, like this Moro de Caneva as an example, and then do this method. And they're gonna continue to get sweeter and better as they sit in the fridge. So it's a nice little way to like avoid all the crap that's happening, you know? Um, while uh, it's not the perfect fig, it's not the best fig, it's improving the quality uh, so you guys can have a better experience. Here's a little ruby. That's very good. Here's a Hatib de Argentile, which I was really blown away by. I'll show you a photo of this, or I'll show it to you guys up close. Because we haven't talked about this fruit this year. I lost my tree. My tree died. Uh, I, I had it grafted and I planted the tree in the ground. And then the grafted tree died this winter uh, as it, I planted it in the ground. And it really was the low tunnels actually that killed it. But uh, I regrafted it and it took on all three grafts and then it grew so well and it actually fruited in this length of the season. And it's producing really high quality fruits. I'm blown away. That fruit is insanely good super cherry flavored very sweet high quality it just goes to show you that when you graft varieties onto an established rootstock it goes a long way this is a grease de saint jean very good i'll tell you what when you have them uh of thinner thinner figs and they're not so big and fat when they're more slender when you cut them open like this, they dry better and they dry faster and they seem to ripen better in the fridge. Another thing to consider, um, but they're just so good here. What is this fig? It's a green skinned red interior fig. I don't know, it's good. And then here's some LSU champagnes that have been in there for a while. Very good, very sweet. There's another one. I think we're just gonna eat figs. Um, <laughs> this is just, I really do guys, it's just one way. Here's actually some um, Negretta, let's try this. Mm. Yeah, they're just very good and you're preserving them in this way. So that's just my little tip. Um, <laughs> I think you guys will greatly benefit by this. So thank you for watching. We'll see everybody soon. It's a little bit of knowledge. I'm happy to give to you guys and we will see you all soon, all right? Take care. Oh wait, hit that subscribe button. Check out our blog, bigboss.com. Catch you guys for the next video.